guys, it's your girl Ashley here, and I just filmed my, um, kind of vlog about what I was reading. This will probably go up Saturday, I want to say. Um, I kind of just wanted to get on here and just do the kind of like how I do like my little sit down chats with you guys. I kind of wanted to do this. I may not upload this because this is kind of personal. Um, so I may not, I may, we'll see. Um, whew, okay. Basically, this is just to kind of come on here and keep myself accountable. So, you may never see this video. Um, this may just stay on my iPad for just me to see. Um, but I have hit rock bottom. Um, as you guys know, when I was doing Weight Watchers, I had lost last year about almost 30 pounds. Um, I was healthy, I was doing good. Um, I was doing awesome. And then I left Weight Watchers and the pandemic hit and Corona and the coronavirus hit. And I stopped cooking. I stopped doing my points. I stopped caring. I think a lot of us did that. A lot of us stopped caring. A lot of us stopped. It was a kind of a difficult time because we were scared. Still a difficult time now because things are not the way that they are our, our normal is different things are still not the same um so now i don't want to say it's an excuse because it's not because it's definitely not an excuse anymore um but life is trying to get back to normal or our new normal so i hit rock bottom yesterday now when i say i hit rock bottom yesterday I mean, I took a shower, and I took my dog outside, and I brought him upstairs, and I couldn't breathe. I was out of breath. Now, to do normal things like take your dog outside and go down less than 25 stairs, I want to say, if it was like 20 steps, and be out of breath... Is scary and I think that's when I realized I had hit rock bottom but I'm so used to the normal see of just ordering out getting TV dinners getting things that are fast eating my feelings when I'm sad if something upsets me just going to eat not wanting to work out because it's hot outside um, that's a big thing is it's hot, so I don't want to work out. Um, I was running. I stopped running. Um, so a lot has happened. And I've seen it physically in myself, in my weight. Like, I've seen it in my chin. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I've seen it on my neck. Like, I've, I've gained weight. Like, this is not... Like, look at this. This is not good. Um... And I'm not happy. I'm miserable. I may come on here when I do videos for you guys. Sorry. Um, and come on here and smile for you guys and talk about books and be happy. But that's a facade. I can hide being sad and depressed really well. And... I'm just stuck. I didn't sit here and I didn't write a script. I didn't. My videos are raw. They're always going to be raw. They're not going to be planned out. They're just. It's me sitting down talking to my iPad, telling you how I feel. I've never scripted a video. I never will script a video. It's just me, how I am. Messy hair, whatever. This is just me. Um. I don't script videos. I don't plan videos. This is just how I am. This is my YouTube channel. This is how it's always going to be. I'm raw, I'm real, and if people judge and make fun of them, that's them. But something needs to change. I don't know if I need more support or I need support. I don't know. My goal in life before, you know, the pandemic happens and everything was to be a mom. I'm 32 years old, going to be 33 next year. I can't believe that. 
and my goal was to be a mom and that dream feels so far away than like you can ever imagine um it seems like it's never gonna happen because with pcos i need to regulate my hormones i need to lose the weight and none of that is happening um i'm just gaining and gaining and gaining and nobody's here to help me or say hey slow down hey you're gaining weight hey you might need to stop nobody's here to tell me that and i wouldn't get mad if someone did it it, it would mean hey they're looking out for me just the guy look out for my fiance and i tell him hey you know something's gonna ha you know put down something because you're gaining a little bit of weight you know i wish somebody would say that to me instead i have to see it on a youtube video I have to see it on my body. I have to feel it when I'm out when I'm out out and about trying to, to stand up waiting for the bus and it kills my lower back. Like this is stuff that shouldn't happen. So like I'm saying I'm making this video. I don't even know if I'll upload it because this is a pretty raw, raw video. More than what I normally do. And I just kinda wanted to tell you guys where I'm at. Um, I did sign back up to Weight Watchers. Um, I have it free till November. I haven't really been tracking points. I really haven't really been doing that. But I think as of starting today, I'm going to start doing that. No more soda. No more candies. No more sweets. No more none of that stuff. Because <sighs> something needs to give. This is not okay. And if I don't change, I feel that I won't make it to probably 50 and I won't be a mom anytime soon. So I just wanted to just tell you guys that. <sighs> kind of get it off my chest because it was bothering me. I talked a little bit of, a little bit of it to, to Vanessa. Not Andrea yet, um, but told Vanessa. Yeah, if you guys see this video, you guys do. If you don't, um, then you don't. But if you guys are struggling like me, let me know in the comments.